Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 10 of SQL Server FAQs. In this video, we will discuss about what is the difference between primary key constraint and foreign key constraint. So, we already discussed about primary key constraint. Primary key constraint uniquely identifies each record in the database table. We already know that primary key will allow only unique values. Means, it will not allow duplicate values. And primary key constraint will not allow null values. And we can apply only one primary key constraint on a single table. So, what is foreign key constraint? Foreign key constraint is used to establish the relationship between two or more tables. So, foreign key constraint is generally called as referential integrity constraint. So, here you can see primary key will not allow duplicate values whereas foreign key constraint will allow duplicate values. Primary key will not allow null values whereas foreign key will allow null values. We can apply only one primary key constraint on a single table. We can apply more than one foreign key constraint on a single table. Primary key constraint will have constraint name. Foreign key constraint will have constraint name. Whenever we try to apply primary key constraint, then automatically clustered index will be applied on primary key column. No indexes will be applied on foreign key column. So, whenever we apply primary key constraint, then automatically not null constraint will be applied on primary key column. And that not null constraint will not allow you to insert null values. Similarly, here whenever we apply foreign key constraint, then automatically null constraint will be applied on foreign key column. Here the main advantage of foreign key constraint is generally used to establish what? The relationship between two or more tables. So, here you see, I will try to create one database or I already have one database with name sample DB. I want to use the database, use database name, use sample DB. So, now I will try to create one table, something like create table, create table, the name of the table I give as DEPT and here I will try to give the column name as D number, data type int and I will try to apply primary key, comma and here I will give D name, data type I will give var care, var care of 30. Now, I want to create one table with name DEPT, right click refresh and with column names, two columns I have created. One is D number, department number and department name and applied primary key constraint on D number. And we already know whenever you try to apply primary key constraint, then automatically system will generate the constraint name. This is predefined constraint name. PK means primary key underscore DEPT and we applied primary key on D, DEPT table. And here the primary key of one table will become as foreign key in another table. Simply you can tell foreign key is used to establish the relationship between parent table as well as child table. So, here the syntax to apply what? Uh, I will create one more table. Create table. And here the name of the table I will give as EMP with columns E number, data type int, comma E name, data type I will give var care, var care of 30. And here I will write. Um, uh, salary, data type will give money and here I will write D number, data type is int and I want to apply foreign key. The syntax for apply foreign key is something like this foreign key, references, references, primary key table name, primary key table name is what DEPT of primary key column name, create table table name, column name, data type, foreign key, references, primary key table name of primary key column name, that is the syntax to apply foreign key constant, press F5 and check the output here, command completed successfully. Now, here you right click on the tables, refresh, there you see one table is available that is EMP table, this is DEPT and this is what EMP, under DEPT table here you have D number that is primary key, under EMP table here you have uh, D number this is foreign key. So, foreign key constant is used to establish what relationship between parent table as well as child table. And if you want to apply foreign key, it is mandatory that this column must become as primary key in parent table. Is it clear? And here obviously foreign key constant also will have what? A constraint name. How you have constraint name for primary key. Now here you can say, uh, right click on EMP, edit top 200 rows. I will try to insert some values here. 101, Jaydeep. And here I will give salary 20,000. And here I will give department number 10. Now you will get error. Why you are getting an error saying that here you see the insert statement conflicted with foreign key constraint. The conflict occurred in the database sample db, DEPT table. It means that 
here in emp table d number is what foreign key foreign key column now if you want to insert the value in the foreign key column that value must exist in where primary key column otherwise we cannot insert the value because uh, the value must exist in parent table then only that value we can insert in where child table so here you see i will insert 10 department number 10 csc department 20 triple e department something like this execute now here you go and check in emp table now you try to execute it is working 102 here i'll give sunil and here i'll give 21000 and here i'll give 20 working 103 because this 10 and 20 are exist in where dept table so it is possible 103 here i'll give ajay and here i'll give 20000 and here i'll give 30 not working because the value 30 is not exist in where dept table so if you want to insert the value in foreign key column that value must exist in where primary key column that is one point if you give 20 it is valid and here if i give 104 james and here i'll give 21000 and here i will not give any value no error see here if you observe clearly this is my foreign key column i applied on d number column so foreign key will allow what duplicate values as well as foreign key will allow what null values is it clear and we can apply more than one foreign key on a single table is it clear and uh, one more important point here now in dept table i want to delete this record which one Depart number 10. So, how to write the query? Delete from DEPT where D number is equal to 10. So, here you will get an error. What is the error? The delete statement conflicted with the referential constraint. The conflict occurred in the database sample DB table EMP column D number. See, if you want to delete the value from primary key column, first of all, we need to delete these values from where foreign key columns because this foreign key column is depending on what primary key column if you want to delete the uh, uh, values from parent table we must uh, first clear all the dependencies values so it is not possible means if you want to delete department number 10 first of all delete all the values that are available in where foreign key column with department number 10 then it is possible Similarly, you cannot uh, drop primary key constraint until we drop what? Foreign key constraint. If you want to drop primary key constraint, you have to drop all the um, foreign key constraints. Then only it is possible. And in the same manner, we can apply the foreign key constraint in different ways without writing the query also. Let us see. So, here we will try to create one database by through GUI. Right click on database, new database. The name of the database I'll give as my sample db. And uh, here you see my database is successfully created. And I want to create the tables here. Right click on the tables, new table. And here I'll give the column names. Column names I'll give as d number, data type is int. And here I'll give d name, data type is var cat. And here I want to apply primary key for d number. So right click on d number, set primary key. Just click on save. The name of the table I will give as DEPT. So open the tables. Here you can see. Actually the problem is. Why this T1 and T2 tables came? Because of uh, um, model database. That anyway we will discuss later. Here you see. Now I want to create one more table. Right click on tables. New table. With columns. E number. Employee number. Data type is int. And here column name, e name, data type is where cat, and column name, salary, data type is money, and column name, d number, data type is int. Now I want to apply primary key for e number, right click, set primary key. And I want to apply foreign key for d number. So how to apply foreign key? Right click on d number, there you can see what relationships. And there you can click on add button, and here you can see one uh, attribute or property called tables and columns specifications and there you can select the ellipse button and here you can set the primary key table name is DEPT and primary key column name is D number and here foreign key column name is D number and click on what okay this is we have to select the primary key table name and primary key column name foreign key table name and foreign key column name as I already discussed that if you want to apply foreign key constraint definitely the primary key of one table only will become as foreign key in another table just click on ok 
now just click on close now click on save it will ask you to save the table i will try to save with emp so here it is asking you to save both the tables just click on s so here you see this is my dept table with columns and here you can see this is my emp tables with columns here you see in dept table d number is primary key in emp table d number is foreign key and e number is primary key so if you want to see the database diagram right click on database diagram new database diagram click on s there you can see select both the tables and just click on add and you can see the relationship between both the tables this is my parent table dept and this is my child table is it this is primary key and this is foreign key and it is establishing the relationship it is establishing the relationship between both the tables is it clear similarly you can apply multiple foreign keys on a single table so here we see i explain the differences between all these things primary key will not allow duplicate values it will not allow null values and we can apply only one primary key on a single table foreign key will allow duplicate values it will allow null values and we can apply more than one foreign key on a single table primary key and foreign key both will have constraint names and whenever we apply primary key then automatically cluster index will be applied on primary key column no such type of indexes are applied on foreign key column whenever we apply primary key constraint then automatically not null constraint will be applied on primary key column and that not null constraint will not allow you to insert null values and here whenever we apply foreign key constraint then automatically null constraint will be applied on the foreign key column that is the reason foreign key will allow null values and here if you observe the syntax for creating primary key is create table table name column name data type primary key foreign key create table table name column name data type foreign key references primary key table name of primary key column name syntax to apply primary key at the time of creating the table by using constraint name create table table name column name data type constraint constraint name primary key create table table name column name data type constraint constraint name foreign key references primary key table name of primary key column name and uh, syntax to apply primary key after creating the table alter table table name add primary key of column name here alter table table name add foreign key references primary key table name of primary key column name this is how you can work with foreign key constraint i hope you understood so for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and facebook group thank you have a nice day